out. This week's topic, folks, is the NHS itself. Should we scrap reform or keep the NHS? Eamon Butler is the director of the Adam Smith Institute and he joins me now. Eamon, thank you very much for your time today. Now, the NHS, as I just said, is often sort of, it, 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 it's regarded as a deity, frankly, in this country. It's said it's the number one health service in the world. So why would we possibly want to either reform or indeed scrap it? Well, it's definitely not the number one in the world. Um, ask anybody in any other country, they're actually amazed uh, that our, of our system. Um, and uh, your, your uh, survival rates for cancer, for example, are very much higher anywhere else in, in Northern Europe. Um, breast cancer survival is 10% higher in, in America. Stomach cancer is uh, twice as high even in South Korea, for goodness sake. Lung cancer survival is five times higher in Japan. You know, we're doing something very wrong and we're spending an awful lot of money doing so. We, we spend twice as much on the NHS um, as we do on education. So, you know, that's a, that's a tenth of the national income is going on this thing. And I think what we've got is a, a huge, big, um, old fashioned uh, nationalized monopoly. I'm not sure. I'd love to think you could reform it, but I'm, I'm not sure you can do it. Well, on that, on if we're saying reform there, do you think that part of the problem is actually that the NHS has become too much of a COVID health service rather than a health care service? And that actually, that's the reason why we're failing to treat those who have cancer and require scans and all the rest of it. Or is this part of a problem that runs much deeper and has been going on, frankly, since before I was probably put on this planet, Eamon? <laughs> well, I certainly wouldn't, uh, you, you know, decry the NHS for for COVID. I, I mean, it, it was faced with a, with a uh, once in a lifetime uh, a pandemic, and uh, you know, it's not surprising that mistakes were made and all the rest of it. Uh, but but you are right. The the private sector has responded to the COVID epidemic um, famously, actually, uh, and uh, the supermarkets have stayed open and. Uh, Restaurants and, and pubs, as far as they can, have, have stayed open, and lots of other services, essential services, have, have stayed open. And the NHS is, um, uh, well, and, and education as well, schools as well, you know, they, they closed down. And they found all sorts of reasons why they couldn't do things, rather than this, this sort of go to and let's let's do and let's solve this problem. Um, so, I, you know, now we're facing, uh, the health secretary says, waiting list of possibly 13 million. It's going to take years to clear, clear that. So, you know, we need some radical action. Yeah, well, then on that, to, to end, Eamon, it, what would you actually say? Are we going scrap? Are we going reform? Or are we going keep as far as the NHS is concerned? I'd love to reform it, but we've tried reforming it before. We tried under Mrs Thatcher. Blair tried to reform it. And uh, as soon as you do that, the waters just close over again and it becomes the same old bureaucratic nightmare. And we've got to have a health service that's focused on patients, not focused on bureaucracy and not focused on politicians. So I'd love to say reform. I think it's going to be scrapped. Well, I mean, scrap. A lot of people, Eamon, I'm no doubt we're going to get flooded with emails. So thank you very much for your insight. That's Eamon Butler, the director of the Adam Smith Institute.